Hey guys, it's Harry from Screen Arts here. This is just a quick little tutorial to show you how to work with video effects within Premiere Pro. So within our workspace, we're on the editing tab right now. But if we move over to the effects tab, this is where we can easily grab and work with effects. Now we can see over the right, this effects tab has popped up. If we go down to our effects folder here, we can see all of our different effects. Now there are lots of great effects and also some weird and not so great effects, but we can just try out a few and, and I'll just show you the basic functions on how to use some of these effects. So if we go to blur, Gaussian blur, we need to drag and drop our video effects onto our clip. So let's say I wanna blur out this clip here. Let's drag and drop and put it on that clip here. Now, in order to see what you're doing, it's really important to have the playhead over that desired clip. If it's on this clip and you're editing on that clip, on the other clip, you won't be able to see what you're doing. So make sure you've got your playhead on the desired clip that you're affecting and, and the image will, will pop up here in this preview. Now, we've drag and dropped this Gaussian blur and it's come up in our effect controls over here, as you can see, Gaussian blur. Our motion effects, opacity and time remapping effects and, our audio, and these audio effects here are always going to be there. They're always on every clip, no matter what. They're like preset effects. So with Gaussian Blur, as we can see, nothing really much has happened. We can um, toggle our effects on and off, but we can't really see much. Down here where it says 0.0, .0 this is where our blurriness percentage is and so we can pull this and toggle this up and see now it's getting blurry so cool it's pretty blurry this is exactly what i wanted now we can toggle the effect on and off so it's still applied to this clip but we're toggling it on and off we can see down here that we've applied our effects by by seeing that purple effects here where others we we can't see them here so we can stack effects and it really depends what you want to do. So what I would recommend is, is going through all these effects and just playing around with them. Different effects have different attributes depending on what you're doing. So let's get a, let's get a stylize effect and let's see texture. Let's put the texture on there. Now, as we can see, our texture has made our clip go red. This is because this is a sort of a, a bigger, bigger effect. For us to use the playback smoothly, we'll have to render this effect. But, uh, so let's just apply our texture first, with our texture contrast. We can change the center texture. We can change the light direction and the texture layer. Now, even though we are stacking texture, and the Gaussian blur, it really does matter what order it comes in. So if I pull texture over the top, see how that slightly changes? That's because the texture is also affecting the Gaussian blur when it's in front of it, but the Gaussian blur is affecting the texture when it's in front of that. So stacking effects and the order of the effects really does matter. Now for us to play back this video um, in real time smoothly, I'm gonna hit enter and that will render this clip. So if you've got a computer that doesn't have a lot of CPU, um, you may have to spend the time rendering these effects for you to see what the effects do. Um, if you have a fast operating computer, you may not have to. So as we can see, this clip is now green, which means that the playback will play smoothly back in real time. Great, so that was just the basics introductions to applying effects to your clips. I'd recommend go through, have a play around with all these different effects. Um, some of my favorites are Lumetri Color, if you want to do any color grading. Um, there's some blurring effects. Um, looking at levels um, and, and lighting. Keying, this is if you want to do any chroma key or any with any green screen work. Um, and we've got some transform effects like cropping, um, horizontal flip, vertical flips, and so on. 
Thanks, I'll see you in the next video.